Hey, quick, 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 beep, 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 pause. Thank you so much for helping me reach 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, to answer your question, the wig is on its way to James Mansfield. We will be exploring <laughs> that whole journey later on. Don't you Ew. worry. Ew. Yes, it is. But that <laughs> does that mean still subscribe, subscribe. So please, please, please stop. Click follow, subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps me so, so, so much. Thank you very, very much for that. And we really want to join the conversation on Twitter. Use the hashtag first, first impressions right here on the screen. Hashtag first, first impressions. Me and Thorgy both love interacting with you all on Twitter. And you know, I love going through and seeing all the conversations on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all those places. So please post, post, post. So Thorgy, welcome back. Everyone has missed you very, very much. I missed you too, but you know what? Bob, I think what? it's time we should tell them. Should we tell them? Tell them what? What? That, surprise, I, I, a lot of people don't know this, but I am the number one Layla McQueen impersonator. <laughs> and that was, that was me last week, so. Well, can I tell you what? Listen, this is what all the fans are worried about. All the fans are wondering if you and Tia Coffee had a physical altercation. <laughs> did you see her? Did you meet her? Did you run into each other? What happened? Well, here it is. That's why. So last week I was doing drag fest with club kids, right? I was in the UK and I did London, Manchester. And I got to tell you how many, I can't count the number of people that came up to me and they were like, did you run into Tia Coffee? Did you run into Tia Coffee? Are you going to fight with Tia Coffee? Here, throw this in Tia Coffee's face. I was like, you kids love Her this uncle who owns the BBC. Did you ever uh, see her? Yeah, no, I did not run into her uh, personally. But, All right, um, we gotta fix that. We got, I we got it. We, I think we, we need to about get this. you and Tea Coffee together. Yes. Well, remember we talked about this when we did like the first episode where where I went off about Tea Coffee. I remember this, and it was like the first one, right? <laughs> 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 Don't let me interrupt. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I oh. Kind of like, hey, was it Gumby? Like <laughs> I did, I called you Gumby. I love it. <laughs> oh my I god, I said she was like Gumby. <laughs> oh, this is too good. This is way too good. Wait, Tia, I can't hear your mic. Wait, get closer to your mic, Tia. We want to hear you better. Oh, I got uh, Oh, oh, my. This is too good. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, Tia. Hi, and we all having a lovely day. Yeah, it's looking great. I was really chill up until now, and now I'm just, my heart <laughs> racing. I feel nervous. I feel like being like, whoops, I think I um, accidentally, the internet doesn't work. Oh, we got that. We're just having a lovely time, aren't we, Thought you Don't worry about it. I love it. Wait, Tia, did you go to Drag Fest? I did not go to Drag Fest. Oh, no. Um, because I was concerned about what the drag fans would think would happen if George and I were in the same room. Well, did you listen to me before? Every single person that I met was like, did you run into Tia Coffee? Are you going to fight with Tia Coffee? Every single person. They love this just because I said you look like Gumby. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I've had a lot of accusations of murder this week, and I'm like, Thorgy's fine. Thorgy is fine. Everyone can't death. I will stop sending you death threats. I'm so sorry. I just can't stop sending no, you. Please, please do. They're the only DMs that I get. <laughs> Listen, I, I also love, you know, Americans call, sometimes Americans call you T-Or. <laughs> Americans like, I love T-Or. T-Or is great. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to bring you two together for a oh, moment of magic. Okay, how about this? I'm going to say this. I apologize if I said anything that hurt your feelings, but I was honest. I love you, and I hope we can, like, do something live together and just fight. <laughs> just fight on stage. Listen, you two, we have to organize. Next time Thorgy goes back to the UK, you two have to do a whole tour. It has to be a whole moment. Tia Coffee v. Thorgy. I'll be the referee. We will Let sell out 
Clap them grand. I think it'd be gorgeous. <laughs> On, honestly, I think we'll have a wonderful time. Thorgy, nothing you said offended me. Remember, I was on a season with a horror, so nothing to do with that. <laughs> Who I did run into, and she is intense. A horror is intense. Oh, she's next. All right, now it's Thorgy versus a horror. <laughs> Fine. Oh my God. She was intense. She was like, oh, hey, girl. I was like, okay. I was like scared. I was like, okay. But she looks gorgeous. She looked really beautiful. Tia, tell us about your new your new single that you're promoting right now and everything. Oh, man. Yeah. I've got a little song out. It's gorgeous. You can listen to it if you want. Uh, you don't have to. You're like, you're right. I don't want That's to so sweet of you. You're really selling it. You're really selling it to all of us. <laughs> oh, no. You should listen to it. Thought you, you might. Know, you know, Let's review it. I'm going to review it. Is, also, it. is it called oh, Gumby please. Live in Action? <laughs> it, 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 uh, I don't know who leaked that to you, but uh, yeah. That is also, who are you rooting for on uh, UK3? UK3, I'm uh, Team All the V's and River. So obviously, I've got to support Veronica. Um, Thorgy's favorite. I know. I don't know why I'm obsessed with her. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Jane Sibbett. She looks like Jane Sibbett. <laughs> she does look like Jane Sibbett. That is true. She really does. Well, Tia, I just want to thank you for your time. I don't want to keep you too long. Me and Thorgy about to go. Me and Thorgy about to go make some more enemies. You know, I have my own Tia coffee. Her name's Tamisha Mon. We had a whole. <laughs> Wait, Tia, who are you voting for on the U.S. Uh, season right now? The All-Stars. All -Stars. Um, U.S. All-Stars. I I, don't, I really don't want to pick favorites because I yeah. think they're all amazing and they genuinely deserve it. But um, if I had to, I think Rob. She's so sickening. She's so sickening. And I cannot wait to talk about this next episode because the, the stuff... This last episode was probably one of my favorite episodes of Drag Race. Ever. I took so many notes. I'm like, let's get. Down I mean, to that, baby. All right, Tia. I don't want to keep you too long. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for agreeing to this absolute madness. Okay. We stand, Tia okay. Coffee. Please go stream her music right now. You look absolutely. St Gumby could amazing. never. Gumby could never. Gumby could never. <laughs> never. I love you, Tia Coffee. I love you. I'm gonna say it loud and proud. Whoever's listening, I love Gumby. A uh, Tia Coffee. <laughs> and I am here with. And we're here together, and that's good. Yeah. All right. Love you, Tia. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Ah, oh, that's good. Third, we have a little surprises here for for the girls over at first. You, thought, first you thought you were gonna get me, and you definitely got me. That was a get. <laughs> I was. I did. I had no. And you were like, "Did you run into her?" Well, we should probably work that out. I hate you. <laughs> what did you think? Did you like plan this for like weeks, or was it just this morning? You're like, you know what? Hey, me and Mitch have been putting this together for weeks. first of all, right now, a lot of the UK girls love first first impressions. Even the US version, they really love this show. The numbers are really high in the UK, Word. and the the girls are excited, honey. Very I fucking excited. Also, All right, I'm gonna put on my every single person that I met in the UK that just said, Thorgy, I love you and Bob together on the show. Every yeah, like, everyone's obsessed, like obsessed, obsessed. So I want to say hello to everyone in the UK. Wow. Thanks for being fans of us. Yes. I love you right back. Mwah. Now, before we even get started, I want to say out loud right now that we are gonna put Suki Nutmeg Ganache's Venmo and PayPal on the screen for this <laughs> entire fucking episode. And yeah. everyone who watches this, Better give that bitch a fucking dollar. I cannot emphasize this enough. Look on the screen right now. We are not going to take down Silky's PayPal and Venmo. If you do not tip her for single-handedly making one of the most iconic episodes of Drag Race that has uh, ever aired, ever, we need I'm to already, get this. Yeah, I'm skipping ahead. 10K. Now. I'm yeah. 10 fucking K off the bat for this insane, insane episode. Yeah. Ep 
Oh, I couldn't. I I couldn't even believe what the fuck I saw. I I was just so shook by everything that I saw. I have a million notes. Sorgi and Bob back together again, bitch. Yes. Hey. I think we should go ahead and start with looking at these looks, right? Uh, you want to start with the looks? Yeah. I mean, okay. Well, I, okay. I have things before the notes. I, I wrote down. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm, the, let's... The, like. <laughs> I forgot how terrible some of these exit lines were because they do this big like playback of every single girl leaving, and I forgot like, how oh, horrible some of those like mm. yeah like um, I, I can't remember Pandora's that one was weird. Yeah. There were there were some real uh, Akira was like and Akira will always be the T. And don't you forget I'm the T. I'm like I'm right. <laughs> I was like oh, you know what okay this, yes. That was sad. <laughs> also, I really uh, gagged that everybody down. voted for Eureka. The what, 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 you, what about Eureka? I'm gagged that everyone voted for Eureka. Like, Eureka did not stand a snowball's chance in hell. Girl, I, everyone I, I voted for get, What the hell is going on? And you know me, like, in the last couple of episodes, I am always living for Eureka. We always kind of, you're a big Raja fan every episode, but I was like, nope, Eureka was the winner for me for many of the episodes. Her looks were always the best, whatever. And now she was gone. I was like mad. I was I mad. Think there was, I think there was maybe one or two episodes that Eureka should have won. I would have given Eureka the, the the Clash of the Patterns episode. I would have given yeah. her that one for sure. But right? I just want to say, before we, we're going to get there, because we're going to start now, but I just want to say I was so happy because finally, finally, we're going to see that Serena Chacha is going to win the whole season. I'm just excited Girl. about it. I'm just excited that she's Watch back. With, you, you said it from the beginning, I, and you, now I you're said right. It from the beginning, I, she, I think she's amazing. She's gonna win. And oh with that God. said, with that said, first lip sync. Let's go. All right. So we have Suki Nutmeg and I versus Tia Coffee. Okay. First of all, Suki. Okay. RuPaul. First of all, there's too much ceremony. There's like a, every lip sync. There's like a big. Re- why are we revealing? We know who it is. <laughs> Why are we slow? We already know who went home. We know what order they went home in. Well, I think Why they were we revealing it for the, the girl, the girl that they were lip syncing against or something. Yeah, but like we have to watch it at home. Like, this is, Mary, this is too much. <laughs> this, this, this is too much. So, um, RuPaul is always like, do you have anything you want to say to your opponent? I love what Serena Chata said because it was so bizarre. Sister, I adore you. However, I didn't have your vote. So let the game within a game begin. I was like, what a weird... It's just this, like, sister, oh, I adore I you. I literally wrote what? down, Serena Chacha is so <laughs> weird. You just, she it was, is on another, she's just always like, she says something and you go, Ugh. oh, like, what are you doing? I don't, it was weird. I, it was weird. I, it was weird. I was, but her, so, hair looked nice. so, her hair was nice. Yeah, so Jiggly Caliente wins. Um, also, Serena was like, I cannot wait to wig you one day. Like, she wants to put a wig on RuPaul's head. And RuPaul was like, all right, you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she paused and went, Jiggly, you're the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to wig you one day. All right, the door, the door's that way. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you so um, much. So Jiggly wins. I think Jiggly deserved it. Next up is Jilky, Jiggly versus Silky. This is where, every, like, from the top, Silky was so fierce because she's out there and Jiggly's like, two fat girls in cheetah print. And, J- and Jiggly says, looks like you stretched out your cheetah print. <laughs> no, wait, Silky said that to Jiggly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, yeah. Silky said to Jiggly, looks like you stretched out your, your cheetah print. Also, Silky's oh, just so oh, funny. Oh, as soon as she sees Jiggly silhouette, she goes, oh, it's Jiggly. That got me. She goes, oh, it's Jiggly. <laughs> Turns around. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's Jiggly. What's good? What's what's going on? Well, the the other um, the other fight for me was um, Silky not Ganache versus her hairline. Did you see her wig moving back? Probably at, at each episode. I mean, no, her wig right at the very first thing. Like, I didn't see. I'm it. Silky, and I'm ready. And I was like, oh, I paused it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my god! It was like a full inch of her just her wig moving back, and nobody told me. Nobody see told it. that girl. I did not see nobody it. Nobody told. Go watch that again and go. And I was like, Silky. Like somebody needs to go, girl. You need to just pull up. It was just I couldn't stop staring. Anyway, that was the other fight. It was Silky versus her hairline. <laughs> I gotta say, I've never seen Jiggly Pad, and this her body looks amazing. It was nice. It was nice to see. I don't understand why Jiggly was doing this lollipop bit for so long. 
They were doing oh, girls I, like, I kind of like the lollipop. I actually wrote like I liked her little like okay lollipop. I, 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 it was just I, too I long. It. She did it for too long in my opinion. I was like, I, I, it should have been like the first moment. But after a while, I was like, girl, let the lollipop go. I, yeah. Like you gotta you gotta move beyond yeah. this. You know what I mean? And <laughs> the lollipop bothered you, but Silky making a cocktail for twelve minutes didn't. <laughs> no, that was had, epic. That it was. was amazing. Oh, and not like a cup. She had like a crystal like goblet gla glass. And I was yeah, like, she had a full dangerous. crystal glass, a bag of ice, and then an entire <laughs> bottle of Crown Royal. Not the little mixer, airplane size. And a mixer. Yeah, and a mi <laughs> I was like, the, as oh soon as God. she, I was like, she really came to fucking play. When and she pulled she, that, there, go ahead. Well, she timed it out perfectly because it was like lip yes. sync, lip sync, words, words, words. And then as soon as it was like the instrumental part, she was like, okay, now I'm going to start making my cocktail. And it was perfectly timed. And I was like, yeah. this this is not sloppy. Because I yes. think in the past, I've seen Silky try and do these stunts or moves. And I'm like, eh, it's just a little sloppy. This was sloppy and fun, but like planned well. And I was I was, she figured it. It I was out. laughing. And, and, I was and laughing. the talking... The, the the lip syncing with the hand while drinking from the glass. <laughs> it was epic. And then and then when she, when she started doing the shoot, when she started doing the shoot, I was like, I cannot do like she just paced this number so yeah. perfectly. There was yeah. I love Jiggly. There was nothing Jiggly could have done because this was so good. But she fucking turned it. Let's yeah. let's let's look at the our next one. Is Suki Nutmeg, the Dr. Reverend Suki Nutmeg Ganache versus Miss Yara Sophia? Yeah. Now, I feel like, first of all, I do think this is something I've noticed with Yara Sophia. Yara Sophia does not know how to pace her numbers. She gives you everything in the first 30 seconds. She did all, she did two or three reveals in the first 30 seconds. First lyric, thrown off, and then she stood there. And I was like, okay. And you're right, it didn't like go anywhere. And then, uh, you end up acting a fool the rest of the rest of it because you're like nervous that you're gonna get sent home And then she did that yes. weird crotch guitar crotch guitar thing Which seemed I don't know if they edited it this way But it seemed as if she was playing guitar on her crotch for a very very long time. Yes The crotch so guitar lasted very very long. I don't know I how think long. that Suki <laughs> I mean Suki really fucking killed it. I mean again, let us know you all said let us know as we get each one Let us know who you think one that lip sync. I like Silky's outfit. I do wish the black in the middle was a nicer fabric. It looks like just like regular spandex or neoprene. But these little hip fringes are really fucking cute. Also, this no, this is when she pulled another drink out of her titties. She pulled the yeah, bottle of water out. And I'm oh, like, how many? Did she have a full vending machine in her titties? How many <laughs> drinks does this bitch have? She has a full wet bar. A full wet bar. Because bear in mind, all the things she bought this time was a bottle of water. So I don't there think there was many like, more things under there. We just didn't get to it. She was like, Well, I yeah, have the, a lot more, but right. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean I think that her fucking I don't know. I think that Silky won this one too. What do you think? I absolutely think so, yes. It was just something about Yara uh I don't know, it was just I wrote down like stale at a one point, just watching, I was like all right, because she is beautiful, right? She's yeah. stunning and gorgeous. She's gorgeous, You're absolutely right, right gorgeous. away, naked, and then it was just a lip sync. And Silky actually gave us levels of comedy, of humor. She used the whole stage. You know, she made people laugh. She was actually magnetic to watch. She was a great performer. She was a great performer. And I was, glad she, I was rooting yeah. for Silky so hard. Like, it got to where I was like, I was so team Silky. Like, I wish that she had the same energy at the top of the season. You know, at the top of the season, she was really concerned with how she was coming off to the fans and what yeah. they think of her. And then she came back. She she had lost it all. She had yeah. nothing to lose, everything to gain. And it showed. She was just rolling out. Like, yes. Yeah, and I, I said, this girl is having fun. This is what drag is about. And that's something yes. I always, always remember to do my whole life, except for when I was on RuPaul's Drag Race both times. <laughs> I was, like, not having fun because I was so anxious. Like, oh, my God. Ugh. Like, I never could have fun. I was just so nervous and, like, ah. But yeah, I feel it's that. important to have fun. It was really refreshing to watch her have fun. Yeah. So so let's move on to the Dr. S the Dr. Reverend versus your Brooklyn homegirl, Miss Scarlet uh, Envy. 
Okay, first of all, I mean, can we Scarlet. talk about how gorgeous yeah. Scarlet Envy looked? Yeah, I, this outfit looks absolutely amazing. I remember thinking amazing. to myself, wow, this this outfit looks so good. But I will say there's, there was something about as soon as Scarlet walked out, I was like, Silky's about to ruin this bitch. Like, the moment Scarlet walked out, I was like, I, I remember being like, she looks good. You do not. Silky's like got the fire. She's on a fucking roll. She already sent two girls home. And Scarlet, also bear in mind, too, these girls are all fresh off an elimination. These girls just got eliminated. And Silky, Silky had like just a week's won. rest. <laughs> <laughs> she was building props. She was like, oh, girl. Right? Um, um, but I compared it when Scarlet walked out. I compared it to like, you know, when you go to the zoo, the zoo and there's like a big, like, fierce like lion animal and then they like throw this like little animal in there to get eaten by the lion yes that was what it looked like no, I'm just, very <laughs> that like, i was like when oh, they no. when they did a little slow reveal and you saw that little shoe i did a screen grab i actually did a screen grab because oh, it is, uh, you mean of danny devito as the penguin and batman <laughs> that's who i thought it was that, if you look at this, that little left. shoe <laughs> the, no it was the shoe it was the zoom in on the shoe and Mitch, I'll, I'll send you the screen. Guys, you can put it on the screen, Mitch, because it was so iconic. When I saw that the little penguin. shoe, the penguin girl, from Batman. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Suki is. Oh, we you know it took me. Um, uh, uh, the, was it? What song was it again? What was the song? That, uh, that one. It was share. Yeah, at the beginning, uh, there was a lyric about standing on the edge. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but go back and look at it. Silky is literally standing on the very edge of the table with her feet hanging off. And something about her starting off the lip sync with her feet hanging off the edge of the stage, asking, have you ever gone to the edge? I just started immediately laughing, cackling. So like, stupid. What, what is so the, stupid. Wait, like it was just you know that clip of Michelle Visage doing this during a lip sync. I think she does it during the um, the the hair reveal that Rox Andrews did. Oh, it okay, is yeah. just that was me. Like as soon as she put those feet over the edge, I was like, this. She's really. I was just so obsessed with everything Silky was doing. This was the the picture of Silky's shoe, as the. Oh, as oh that's the, when, that's when I said it's the penguin. <laughs> it's the penguin from Batman. <laughs> And that, you have to get that into the whole all the way together, and yeah. I don't think I got a screen grab of the, of her in the edge, but it was really, it was really fucking clever when right, she I'm fucking dangled and... those toes yeah. off Amazing. the edge. I was, I was just undone. Um, oh no, this is Scarlet. Then so then all of a sudden she just uh, picks up these the flags. I know, and the flag Latrice is like the flag queen, right? Latrice, you know, Latrice was on. Uh, well, Silky, Silky killed it. Silky did a good job. Like, wow! All right, they studied at the same academy or something, I don't right? Know. Like, work, okay. That's like Silky's cool. little Silky's fan work was uh, flag work was really fucking good. And she she just, had a gimmick. She has had a gimmick every single time now. I think she had a week to sit there, and she just got bored. And she was like, "Eh, what else can I do?" Right? <laughs> yeah, like a week later, she's like, "Oh, maybe a flag." I can build a flag this week. You know, like every week she just had time to like- And it look, I wish she had I wish she had two flags. That would have really fucked the children up. You're right, you're right, you're right. Now, here's this gag. How about this gag? Silky Nutmeg Ganache versus Akiria. Akiria Woo. just fully- Did a bend de la creme. Mm -hmm. Right? No thank I would you. Like to, no thank you, goodbye. And they, they didn't home. seem too insulted about it. And at first I was like, ew, like what's wrong with you? And I was classic that like when you're there, you sign up to be there. You say yes to everything. It's like improv, just say yes, yes, yes. They want you to come yeah. back, just do it. It's a headache and it's a nightmare, but you have to persevere, especially the second time back, right? And her to just be like, yeah. eh. But then after she explained it, I was like, all right, in her heart of hearts, she really felt like she did all she needed to do there for herself, yeah. and she was done. And and it was nice. I'm, I'm glad they they gave her that moment to kind of explain herself because um, me too. It made me less, yeah, it made it made me less mad. But and and I love when people go, "If I were there," and I'm like, "But you weren't there." So and exactly. I said, "If I were there, you weren't there, and you don't really know how much you're going through. It is very very stressful." And Bob, I, I said this. You did it one time. You won. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to come back. I know we've heard this before. <laughs> I didn't say that. I never said that. Oh, 
we can't Bianca get this says, done. Bianca says that. Bianca always. Did I say that? I probably no. did. I probably, no, you I sent did. me voice messages in the middle of the night. You're like, oh, sorry to wake you up, but if you win the first time, you ain't got to go back and do it a second. Good night. And I'm like, oh. Like my nightmares. You just love to You're taunt me because you were always that girl, and I always knew you cheated on season eight. Back to what I was saying about mm. Akira. When she came back, I was like, the second time is really, really, really stressful. And I was when she said that, I was like, girl, go home, get some rest. Um, yeah, they really did. They didn't. They didn't drag her. You know what I mean? They didn't. Like, they did not. They, they let it go. Like, and and I think the fans are being pretty chill about it too. Yeah, like I was like, and but then let's get into the goop, goop, goop. Is so here we go. Yeah. So Silky's like, wow. you know what? No, no, no. I still want to. I still want to lip sync for you. Like, I hope I get a chance to perform. She said, I hope I get a chance to perform tonight. At that point, I was like, I wrote down, Silky is so fucking fierce. She yes. said, I hope I still get a chance to perform. When she and then she explained herself. She goes, I see this as a maxi challenge, just like the other girls see their challenges as maxi challenges, and I want to compete. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I like kind of loved it. Yes, I was like, this and is this good. is why you all need to be tipping Silky Nutmeg Ganache. The oh, the know. app is on the screen. Tip this girl. I know I am tipping Thorgy. Give her a tip. Like she, sure. she, she does. She just should have won ten thousand dollars for each one of these. She should have won sixty thousand dollars, honey. Akira is also lucky because there's no way she would have beat Silky. No, no way. So let's move um, on to one of the best ones: Silky versus Jan. <laughs> First, Jan comes out looking like Elvira, and I was like, yeah. "Work, okay." And mean, she had a mean walk and a mean face, and I was like, "Ooh." Well, did sure Jan get eliminated on the Goth episode? There was a Goth on the episode. black. Yeah, where, they, where the girls had to dress goth, remember? And oh. um, and they were all painted pale. No, because then she had that crazy mouth. So maybe they let her repay. I don't remember what episode Jan went home on. Well, when she I was leaving was the workroom it. anyway, her makeup was off. Oh, and they repaint. That's right. They had, the to, they had to. Yeah. You're right. Um, so maybe yeah, she was already in her goth mood when she, when, she, when she fucking came out, you know? Or they told her, they were like, you can't wear any purple because that's now Raja's color. <laughs> also, Jan coming out. Jan is fully still getting bullied by RuPaul. I have, a, I have a guess that I think back in the day, Jan's dad bullied RuPaul at school, Ooh, and this is the it. long game for Jan for RuPaul to get Jan back because we right. all knew the moment Jan walked out that RuPaul was not. Gonna oh let her no! Win. They showed RuPaul's face, and she goes like this: <laughs> "Hi, Jan." <laughs> like taunting her, I was like, Ooh, "Right." RuPaul, she goes, "Are you ready?" To are you ready for your second chance? Are you ready to um, a little Janbury? Can, can you handle all these puns, Jan? Hmm? And I was like, and oh my God! I was <laughs> like, RuPaul is fully torturing this poor girl, not gonna give her a chance. So they come out, Rasuki comes out also in this Diana Ross fucking. She looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> I was obsessed. I, I, I kind of want that coat. I want that coat. I will say this. Jan is the first girl to give Silky a run for her money. Okay. Yeah. I really do uh, think. Yeah. Also, I think, and this is maybe I'm going to upset people. I don't care. I think Jan would have won if the guitar hadn't come out. So I wrote, Jan was doing well up until the guitar bit. When there the guitar is. bit happened, Silky, like it was, first of all, I love when, when Silky walks out and she goes, Jan, Jan, she's a man. <laughs> <laughs> she's a man. That was funny. Jan, Jan, yeah. she's a man. Um, that really tickled the piss out of me. And uh, Jan was doing a good job. But when that guitar came out, when I say game changer, the yeah. and it was the smashing. Like it all those girls the in the workroom yeah. were like going crazy. I was too. I was, I was laughing like, out loud. It was so good. It was great. If Jan was really cunty, yeah. she would have picked that guitar up before Suki got to it. Imagine if Jan oh, would have walked her over, <gasps> picked up the guitar, yes. and was like, "What? It's mine." Well, oh, oh, is that unfair? That's what I would have done. It's my last I mean, chance here, girl. I still imagine them, get over imagine it. Imagine them fighting over the kids. Oh, imagine them oh like Oh my God, killing. Silky would have attacked her. Oh my God, fight, yes! Why is there not more fighting? 
I was like, if Jan was a real bad bitch, she would have stole that fucking guitar right from her. And that would have been yeah, I iconic and epic. What? I also yeah, love when, when Silky started yeah. playing the guitar with her teeth. When she starts yeah. playing the guitar with her teeth, I was like, this is so good. <laughs> the smashing. The judges, like, the smashing was it for me. That's going to be like a gif or gif, a meme. And <laughs> it I was love it. so good. It oh. was so fucking good. All so, right. So, Jan was, didn't win again. She goes home. I do. And I think Silky deserved to win that one. I think Silky yeah. deserved it. Let's go on to probably one of the um, easiest decisions of the night. Silky versus Pandora. I yeah. mean. Uh, I will say this. And I wrote down uh, Pandora had the best hair the entire season. She and, am really I wrong? Good. Her hair, the, look, really the hairline, the style, the color, the, every single episode, her hair looked so good. I don't know who did her hair. It's amazing. Congratulations. It looked great. And she walked out and all the girls were like, love, right? She looked really good. Yeah. Also, oddly yeah, yeah. enough, I really did not mind Silky's flats. It really matched the look. Like those Converse flats, she's wearing Converse. Oh, high she top was. Converse. Oh, yeah, because she came and out in Honestly, I was like, honestly, it's fierce. I'm into it. Like, it looks really she good. She looked like Ariana Extra Grande. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana, it's Ariana, Ariana Venti. Ariana Venti. Um, yeah, she was, she turned it. I, I also love that when they got to the part, Silky was, there's this thing that happens when girls lip sync. Sometimes they sing the background vocals, and sometimes you sing the vocals that are going in. Silky yeah. was singing the actual vocals, and Pandora was singing the background vocals. And I was Ooh. like, there it is. There, there it is. is. Thank you for that. And, Step back, And that's man. why she, <laughs> I mean, but also, you know, since when Pandora got eliminated, Pandora got a pep talk unlike anybody else. It was just like, RuPaul was like, I, I, RuPaul really likes Pandora. She was like, I don't need to tell you right now, you are an icon. You have made yeah. a huge impact. You yeah. are fucking killing the game. Thank you so much. I think RuPaul is really grateful for those early season girls for yes. helping create an iconic show way. that people like you and me and Silky and whoever's on the next season and the girls we were lucky Race enough to be there three. because of them. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's really fucking fierce um, that RuPaul gave her this like big accolade. And I agree. I think that we owe a lot to Pandora. So thank you for your service. Now Ms. go Box. <laughs> Now go home, because you, you did get beat. All right, now we have the final showdown. And I got to say, this is when it got... So, like, Ooh. there's such different energies, because Silky is, like, really goofy, and Eureka yeah. is, like, on the verge Serious. of tears. Eureka's yeah. like, I'm about to, like, I'm about to cry. Like, there was a great moment where Eureka goes, I think I want to cry. In the middle of the goes, I think I, I, I want to cry, y'all. I want to cry, and I know Eureka well, and that that is that's that's her girl. I'm gonna cry, y'all. Girl, I'm gonna cry, girl. I'm gonna go ahead and cry. And so they, they're, they're it's really where they're both doing homages to their mothers. Yeah, I wrote down that, and I thought that was really weird because it was never talked about. And then all of a sudden, yeah. it was like this huge storyline about wearing like a mother's like alert necklace. Like her, she wore her mom's life. She wore her mom's life alert. Life alert. And then also uh, Silky was like, my mother lost all this weight. So she's putting yeah. down, she told this whole story. I was like, girl, you lost me. I think like, what was hard, this, for, there was two things girl. about Silky's thing that didn't work out. Silky did not get out of the suit fast enough. Like she yeah. she got caught in the suit. And, and the also thing is she uh, never got out of the suit. <laughs> I was about to say the second thing was like, like when she's wearing a fat suit and then she gets out, but she's she's still fat. So it's not like this big. Trend. It wasn't like she was trying to tell a story of being fat and then being skinny, but she was like fat and then she took it off and then she was still fat. It's so like it was like that. I think that the visual was probably a little bit lost for yeah. the listener. I did appreciate what she was doing though, and I do agree in my opinion. And we don't know who won the slip sync yet. I do think that Eureka won the slip sync. Me Eureka too. just did a better job. Yeah, but I it was really sad to see to to see Silky not win because she set it up so many weeks in a row. It was like, yes, yes, this is great. I mean, single handedly carried yeah. this episode on yes. her back. Yes, we owe her uh, the entertainment she gave us. This, this I, I mean, she may have won more lip syncs than almost anyone in Drag Race history. Who's yeah. won more Drag Race? <laughs> Who's won more lip syncs? Know. And to I'm, see, I her, think maybe I, Alaska I won four. I think maybe um, I think Cameron Michaels won four lip syncs, or she oh, tied okay. for one. 
Well, Cameron Rick was lip sync four times and tied one with Eureka. But also, right. as soon as Suki came out, I remember thinking, about it, like, Eureka is a really good performer. Yeah. Like, Eureka yeah. is, like, insanely talented. That bitch can yes. fucking move. She's yeah. good at emoting. She, Eureka knows how to pace a number. She knows what to do when and where. She knows and when she to do a split. here. She does. She has yes. it. She wants it. Yeah. So, I do think that Eureka won, um, it, which is sad. Not sad because I, 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 I think she did a good job and she deserved it, but it, it was it was it was hard to watch Silky prevail for that long. Yeah. And then get sent home. That was tough. I think okay, my mom, I'm trying to I'm, I'm like talking out loud now, so let me work through it. It was tough because I wrote down gimmick. She did a gimmick every single time and the gimmicks yeah. worked, but then it started annoying me that last time when I was like, Oh, another suit with the chips, I was like another gimmick. And then the gimmick worked against her. The suit didn't come off. The bag of chips yeah. didn't make any sense to me. She was like stomping on it, like a lit cigarette. I was like, I don't understand. Oh, you're saying no to food. I, it just didn't make sense. And then it was caught on her leg the whole time. And I said, at yeah. this level, the nitty gritty details, they matter. You have to judge this. Your I costume agree. malfunction. So that is a that is a minus point, girl. And you're right. It was sad to watch that. Eureka's gonna come back, yeah. isn't she? Ah! Yeah, I think Eureka's gonna come back. But but I mean, it was it was really great to be able to see the the fight. The she got a whole episode to herself. Yeah, I think she I even. Think got, she, I don't know she, got an, she deserved. Yeah, Thorsey, I love you so much. It's great to have you back. Your earrings do look. You're all out. You look amazing. This is Thanks. this is the clown Thorgy I met and fell in love with. I was gonna say like this. I've had this little hairpiece for like twelve years. <laughs> yeah, this I feel. This I didn't feels even like. Tell you, I know we're saying goodbye, but the ghost is back in my house. We can talk about it next week because it's a long story. No, the ghost is back. It turned a candle on. It no, it's like fear. So we'll talk about it next week. The ghost is. Do y'all think Thorgy should have her own podcast? I think Thorgy should have her own podcast. Thorgy, if you need help, let me know. I talk because I think you need a podcast anyway. But yeah, just I need help. Like a girl, I'm just so distracted all day long by a million things. Yes, yeah, sit me down. I can never stop talking all day long. <laughs> well, that being said, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you, Bob.